Also new at noon, the Salvation Army's Empty Bowls is back this year and your help is needed. Joining us right now is Lisa Murphy, the Empty Bowls chairperson. How are you doing, Lisa? I'm doing great. So tell us about the Empty Bowls. I see you actually brought some beautiful bowls here to share with us. Yes, uh, this year we, our bowls are back and we're very excited. Um, it's gonna be uh, March the 1st from 11 to 1. And whenever you come, you get a bowl of soup that's donated by area restaurants. So you get your uh, soup, you get bread, you get water, and then you also get a handmade pottery bowl. And these bowls are supposed to represent the empty bowl, the fact that there are so many hungry in our area that don't have a meal. And the Salvation Army is helping to provide those meals. Mm -hmm. So it's a representation during the year to remind you. Now, when it comes to volunteers, are you still in need of volunteers to be able to help out this day? We are. We need volunteers to help with our bake sale. If you'd like to bake an item and bring it the day before, uh, Cadence Bank is running our uh, bake sale and they will have uh, items, but we also need um, support from the community to you know, provide a variety of baked goods. So now when mm -hmm. it comes to your goal, what is your goal this year? Um, money, um, we would like to raise about $40,000. Mm -hmm. um, we have, um, our Salvation Army right now is feeding over 1,100 meals a week at our community center. And this is the only fundraiser that the Women's Auxiliary does for the food program. Uh, all year long. Wow, 40,000. So. Now that is really a goal. Um, when you think of the homeless situation, do you think the pandemic actually lend itself in a way to that with more people as well as you look at inflation yeah. too? Right, and, and a lot of people just think it's the homeless, but there are, at our shelter right now, we have families we have uh, toddlers, you know, no. that are at the shelter. Um, and then you have seniors, and then you have people that are on limited incomes. And they just, their budget just does not stretch. So they can go to the Salvation Army at lunch or at supper and get a hot meal. Mm -hmm. And so we're providing a need in the community, not only to the homeless, but to other people. All right, and yeah. Lisa, thank you so much for all that you're doing. And we do have the number up for people if they want to get tickets. That number is 662-213-7596. Thank yes. you so much for joining us to tell us about this critical need. Thank you very much. Still to come on WTVA 